Welcome to Ask Biocode. This is a podcast that we have started at Biocode. This is the first initial episode and this is an initiative that we started just to cater to the questions that we have been receiving from vast majority of students of bioinformatics from around the globe. I'm your host Bukhar Hanif and I'm going to be answering your questions throughout this series that we have started. This is specifically going to be just an introduction for the beginners and intermediate users of bioinformatics and in the further episodes we are going to be taking your questions and we are going to be answering them how you can analyze your data sets how you can get started what sort of programming language you should be learning etc etc but those are questions going to be specifically catering to to the questions that we have received from the users around the globe before moving on further i'm going to be introducing myself my name is ukar hanif and i'm your current host for today and uh, I'm a founder and CEO at Biocode that we established three years ago and we just completed our three years back in February 2023 and we have been providing trainings, courses and workshops on bioinformatics, cancer genomics, computation drug discovery, anything as long as it is related to bioinformatics. We recently launched very advanced courses on single cell genomics and whole genome, whole exome sequencing along with other NGS courses as well. And uh, we have been developing these courses just to teach people how to analyze these data sets and efficiently and analyze these data sets so that they can take their own raw data sets from their lab, take them, analyze them, interpret them, and do their own research at their own pace. I love cancer biology. I love cancer genomics. I love to analyze these data sets that come out in these NGS labs, for example, breast cancer, pancreatic cancer, etc. My own research was on prostate cancer, both uh, it was multiomics research and that dealt with uh, multiomics data sets including uh, NGS, whole genome, whole exome, RNA sequencing, single cell RNA sequencing data. So um, I love cancer biology, I love cancer genomics. I also develop pipelines and softwares for computational drug discovery and genomics such as a full-fledged pipeline of RNA sequencing. So this was just a bit background about me as I love molecular oncology, I love to analyze cancer data sets. I just need you to provide an insight the what sort of work that you can do as you progress in your career. So at Biocode, we take a lot of data from the industry, we analyze it, we provide interpretation, we provide analysis service to, to many, many different labs around the globe many many different companies as well for example antimicrobial resistance research cancer research drug discovery research and even artificial meat production research so uh, th this was just a bit background about me and the company and we are starting this initiative where we are going to be answering your questions you, you just have to email us provide us the questions through of social media, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, wherever we are available, even LinkedIn, or you can directly email us, or you can comment down these videos, comment below these videos, and we can select the top questions that are related to all these different questions that all these users might be asking later down the road. We will club them together and answer your questions. So, so this was a basic introduction, and now we are going to be starting, and we are going to be giving you an introduction to basics of bioinformatics considering that you are a beginner in bioinformatics and what sort of work you can do. So stay tuned, let's get into it. So what is bioinformatics exactly? Bioinformatics is a field that allows us to utilize computers, computer systems, computer science, programming to identify patterns in biological data. The whole goal of bioinformatics as a field is to apply computational methodologies, computational resources, including computer systems, programming, Python, R, Linux systems, and statistics to identify and study biological data and the patterns present within biological data. For example, you have an organism which has genome, which has pro proteins, which has genes, and we want to identify the patterns that might be related to some certain disease, some cer certain evolutionary change, basically to understand the overall scenario phenotype change or overall scenario of an organism based on the molecular data which is sequences genome sequences protein sequencing etc so in this episode we will be covering the basics of bioinformatics including the key tools and techniques that can be utilized as a beginner by you so that you can utilize these tools to do some exciting research and get started with bioinformatics so let's start with the basics first 
what exactly is bioinformatics and why is it important why do you actually need to learn bioinformatics even if your background is not in bioinformatics even if you are you are from some other life science field bioinformatics is the way to go as you progress in your life science career because there is nothing in bioinformatics I mean, nothing in life sciences actually that you can do without learning bioinformatics for example you are analyzing something at the wet lab and you are, you are doing some experimentation experimentations eventually you are going to have to analyze that data on the computer and when it comes to analyzing biological data on on the computer it becomes bioinformatics so eventually you have to learn bioinformatics so why not learn it now so let's start with the basics let me let me guide you what are the basics about bioinformatics at its core bioinformatics is all about data it's just plain data you have biological data genomes genomics proteins proteomics etc you just have the data and the best and the easiest way to identify patterns within that biological data is through bioinformatics techniques and bioinformatics just allows us to finding new and new ways to identify a sense within the vast amount of biological data that is generated every day for example someone is working on bacteria and they are uploading the data raw data which is a gene, gene sequences and you are trying to see how many and what sort of genes are different from other bacteria that are still present for example you have the covid uh, covid virus and the new variants are coming from the covid and covid disease actually from the cov2 virus each and every day there is some kind of new variant not every day hypothetically speaking there is new variant so you what you can do is you can compare these sequences of the viruses and try and see where the mutations are occurring that those mutations are leading to new variant formation so at its core the whole goal of bioinformatics is to take genome sequences or genetic sequences to interpret the information in such a way that we can take and translate this information into health and clinical information where we can see okay this is a gene that is involved in a certain disease this is a gene that can be fixed using certain drug using computational drug discovery pipelines that are implemented in bioinformatics so this is the basic and the core of bioinformatics that allows us to analyze biological data to translate that information into clinical or health related information but why the data is so important why exactly do we need to care about the biological data there are a few reasons for one thing the data can help us better understand the underlying biological mechanisms that are driving the disease particularly or any other biological processes basically what happens is that one single gene can change the entire biological pathway and that pathway specifically can lead to a certain disease so if you have identified a gene that has some sort of relevance to a certain biological pathway that might be upregulated or downregulated or dysregulated due to a certain condition you can then pinpoint and you can start going into the depth of that particular pathway because eventually a single gene or multiple genes can drive cancer can drive multiple types of diseases so that is the whole goal of understanding the diseases by utilizing the biological data sets so if you get genetic data or the genomic data from patients for with a particular disease for example a breast cancer researchers can identify genetic mutations that may be responsible for a disease and use that information to de develop a new treatments preventive medicines preventive measures provide new diagnostic molecules biomarkers opportunities etc so ideally it sounds very powerful and maybe some maybe sounding very technical to you but how exactly do researchers go about analyzing this data well there are a variety of tools and techniques that can be utilized in bioinformatics uh, ranging from statistical analysis i don't want to utilize well technical terms right now in the first video it's an introduction video but what happens is that, is that suppose you have a patient who has certain cancer you will be extracting their dna or rna from their genome sorry from their source of the tumor and you will be sequencing that data sequencing that same sample and put it back onto the computer and on the computer you will be utilizing bioinformatics pipelines or workflows basically to analyze the genome of the patient to understand where the mutations are occurring if the gene expression is changing if the genes are being methylated if they are then which genes are being methylated which genes are being mutated which genes are over expressive which genes are leading to dysregulation of certain pathway and this will help you 
to understand the overall molecular phase molecular mechanism of a certain disease and then you can develop new and new treatments provide new novel biomarkers to the research community so this was the overall pi pipeline that i talked about but there are some other tools for example you don't want to study the um, a particular disease what you can do is then you can do sequence alignment you can compare one or two or more than two sequences together to identify where the mutations are occurring for example you take a hemoglobin gene from all the mammals and you try and compare where the mutations are occurring how and why human genes is different from the other organisms and then you can analyze gene expressions then you can al analyze the patterns in a certain single sequence where the region is highly conserved if it is conserved due to evolutionary phases if it is conserved then why is it conserved that sort of stuff can be analyzed using the molecular data and for that we need bioinformatics tools so these are the basic and just starting phases of your career in bioinformatics and this is how you can get started so these are some of the examples that you can get started in bioinformatics with and that's all for today's episode and welcome to bio ask biocode and i hope you will be leaving your questions and we will be answering them this the episodes are going to be twice a week and we are going to be collecting questions from all over our social media through our emails and through our comments in, under this video or any other video and we are going to be answering them thanks so much for listening and i hope you have a very good day and if you have any questions leave them below and we are going to be discussing them in the next episode thanks so much have a great day